Bipartisan support for marriage equality continues to grow with a high-profile Republican coming out for marriage this week. President Obama comments on the marriage cases before the Supreme Court while new legislation advances in Colorado, Minnesota and Rhode Island. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum and welcome to Marriage News Watch from March 18th, 2013. There's stronger bipartisan support for marriage equality than ever before, starting this week with President Obama. In an interview with Nightline, the president said that non-discrimination is a core value of the Constitution, specifically citing the Equal Protection Clause. He added that he couldn't think of a situation in which a state ban on marriage equality could be constitutional. This closely matches the arguments made by AFER's attorneys on behalf of its plaintiffs, Sandy and Chris and Jeff and Paul. Jeff and Paul were both prominently featured in a Washington Post profile this week, calling them the ideal plaintiffs. The paper observed that, like tens of thousands of other couples, they're just regular folks who fell in love and want to get married. That same desire for equality is what prompted Ohio Republican Senator Rob Portman to come out for marriage equality this week. Citing his support for his gay son, Portman's stance is a complete turnaround. In the past, he's voted to oppose marriage equality and adoption by LGBT couples. He's now the first sitting Republican senator in Congress to support the freedom to marry. There's also big news from the states this week. The Colorado House voted 29 to 26 in favor of a civil unions bill. It now goes to Governor John Hickenlooper to sign. Once enacted, the bill will go into effect on May 1st. A marriage bill passed both House and Senate committees in Minnesota this week. It's now headed to a full vote in both chambers. And Rhode Island Senate Judiciary Committee is scheduled to hear a marriage bill on Thursday, the 21st. And a new survey in Pennsylvania from public policy polling shows 45% support marriage equality to 47% opposed. That continues a gradual trend in the state of growing support over the last decade. Those are the headlines. We're just one week away from oral argument in the Supreme Court case against Proposition 8. AFER will be your best source for breaking news around argument and the eventual decision. Follow us here on YouTube and at AFER.org to get all the info you need from breaking news alerts to legal documents. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.